Good day. This is our second video on exponents simplify. In this one, we're going to look how these two expressions differ in the way we simplify them. And these are two typical grade 11 and 12 questions. Before we do the two examples, please remember, if there's anything you're unsure about in exponents and thirds, you can send us a WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number. Then we will look at it, try and solve it, and send back an answer to you for free as soon as possible. We're going to start with the expression with the multiplies on the ground. The first thing we do is we break up the basis into its prime factors. So that 4 becomes 2 squared. Keep a bracket and put this in brackets. Prime factorize the 9. It becomes 3 squared in a bracket and put those guys in brackets too. Prime factorize the 72, it will become 3 squared times 2 to the power of 3 in brackets, and that guy in brackets too. And keep 2 to the power of 1 minus n as it was. Now we use exponent law 3, and we times that 2 with that n, that 2 with that 2, the 2 with the n, the 2 with the minus 1, this 2 with the n, the 3 with the n, and keep this guy. Please stop the video and make sure you understand how we got from here to here. We took the 2 times n is 2n. 2 times 2 is 4, and we did the same to all of the other powers. We now rewrote this power here, rewrote this power here, rewrote this power over there. And because these two bases are the same and I'm multiplying, I added their exponents. I got 2n plus 1, and I wrote that over there, 2 to the power of 2n plus 1. Now, because we are dividing, and these two bases are the same, I'm going to minus the exponents from each other. So I took this packet, wrote it over the in brackets, that packet behind it and minus it, put the base down of 3, took this exponent, wrote it down, minus this exponent because of the division. Then if you multiply this minus into this bracket, you'll get this answer. You might multiply this minus into this bracket, you're going to get this, and you can just simplify these two tops. This 2 to the power of 2n minus 2n is no n left, plus 4 minus 1 is plus 3. Take this 3, 2n minus 2n is no more n, minus 2 stays there. Then to write it with a positive exponent, 2 to the power of 3 becomes 8, and 3 to the power of minus 2 becomes a 9 under the line. Final answer, 8 over 9. So this expression, simplify, becomes 8 over 9. Now we're going to simplify this expression with a minuses or sometimes pluses on the ground. A good thing to do is to expand each one of these terms separately. In my words, break them up. So 3 to the power of x plus 2 becomes 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2. Keep the 3 to the power of x. You can't break up any further. 3 to the power of x plus 1 becomes 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. And 3 to the power of x minus 2 becomes 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of minus 2. Look at the video. Exponents simplify 1. There we explained why this happens. Now, since grade 9, we've learned that if you have a common factor with plus and minus, you can pull that out. So there's a 3 to the power of x, and there's a 3 to the power of x I can pull out of that top. And here I've got a 3 to the power of x, 3 to the power of x I can pull out from the bottom. So the top, we pulled out a common factor, 3 to the power of x. Then you ask, 3 to the power of x times what will give me this term? The answer is 3 to the power of 2. You ask 3 to the power of x times what will give me this rear term? The answer is minus 1. Then at the bottom, I also have a common factor of 3 to the power of x that I pull out. Then I ask, what are you times 3 to the power of x over here to get this term? And the answer is 3 to the power of 1. Then you ask 3 to the power of x times what will give you this term? The answer is minus 3 to the power of minus 2. Now, because there's a multiply there and there, I can cancel these two. You can say 3 to the power of x goes in here once, and 3 to the power of x goes in here once. Gone is the 3 to the power of x. Then we simplify this. 3 to the power of 2 becomes 9. Keep the minus 1. 3 to the power of 1 stays 3, and 3 to the power of minus 2 becomes a ninth. Then I simplify these two separately. If you simplify this fraction, you'll end up with something like this, but then the final answer will be 36 over 13. The purpose of this video is to get out of the exponents. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the fractions. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video and subscribe to the channel.